A group of river otters is known as a romp, and it doesn't take long watching these playful animals to see why. Constantly sliding, tussling, swimming, and fishing, they appear to have fun no matter what they're doing. And for anyone lucky enough to spot these constant travelers, the fun just naturally transfers to the watcher. Otters travel in small family groups composed of a mother and her young. Larger males tend to be solitary and are social only during mating season. Young are usually born in March and April in dens near water. They stay in the family unit for about a year. Otters are some of Kansas' rarest mammals, though they are now rapidly increasing in the eastern third of the state. From 1982 through 1985, 17 Minnesota River Otters were released in Kansas on the south fork of the Cottonwood River in Chase County. And from then through the mid-1990s, the Missouri Department of Conservation also released more than 800 otters, many near the Kansas line. These releases have resulted in a growing Kansas otter population that may soon require management through a trapping season. Matt Peak, fur bearer biologist for Kansas Wildlife and Parks, is planning to discuss a possible otter season in an upcoming Wildlife and Parks Commission meeting. River otters are dog-sized animals weighing more than 50 pounds in some cases. These fur bearers have very high metabolic rates and individuals must eat about 3 ounces of fish every hour to survive. Fast and agile underwater, they can easily catch a meal. I watched several times as three otters went through the ice together and all returned with fish less than a minute later. Fortunately, their tendency to move constantly along waterways and territories up to 50 miles long helps keep them from cleaning out a pond or creek in a matter of days. Currently, it is unlawful to shoot an otter or kill one caught in a trap. Otters must be released unharmed. The only exception is if an otter is caught destroying fish you recently stocked into your own pond. Consult a Kansas Wildlife and Parks law enforcement officer before acting on any otter damage claim. Keep your eyes and cameras handy if you live along waterways in eastern Kansas. You never know when a romp of otters may provide an unexpected chance to see and film one of the state's most impressive wildlife species. It's an excitement you won't forget. I'm Mike Blair for Kansas Wildlife and Parks.